So we spent a year with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. Now that the 2024 model has come out, I want to talk about the one year experience of the 2023 model and see if the 2024 is the right buy for you or if from our experience of the 2023, that is a great pick for you. We're going to have benchmarks. We're going to talk about the build quality and usability of the laptop and help you make the right purchase decision. The Lenovo Legion Pro 7i has edited 90% of my YouTube videos over the past year. My editor uses this as her main editing workstation. It's got an i9-13900HX and an RTX 4070. Now, the model I have before me now, which you'll see benchmarks included with later, is the latest 14th generation i9-14900HX with the RTX 4080. And I think you'll be surprised how close the benchmarks are between 2023 and 2024. Now, let's talk about durability. My editor treats this with some care. No offense. I know. No offense. I've seen it recently. It's, it's, you know, it's seen some bumps and spins and spills along the way. She travels with the laptop and the charger together in one pocket. Her laptop does not have a big enough exterior pocket to put that massive 300 watt charger block in a separate pocket. So they travel together, but because of the nice durable aluminum top cover, bottom cover, side panel, and, uh, but the keyboard deck is plastic. Because of the durable exterior, it is held up very well, even as she's often on the go while editing. Now, the connectivity has been great for her as well because she has a mouse and different peripherals that she'll add in while she's editing in order to make her ed editing experience smoother. Let's talk about what ports you have available on this laptop. Looking at the ports on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, we have four USB Type-A Gen 1 on the laptop. So there's a lot of USB type A available, but we only have two USB type C's. Now these are gen two and they have display port and power delivery. Now we look on the back here, we have our RJ45 ethernet port, HDMI 2.1 and your power input. Also on the right side, you have your electronic shutter for the webcam and your headphone jack. Now, as you go to open and close the lid with one hand, it does that very easily. The weight of the keyboard deck is good compared to the screen and the hinge is not too stiff to where it would pick it up. Now, I will say though that the bounce is very minimal. I mean, look at that. It's almost no bounce. So if I were to be on, let's say an airplane or in the back of a taxi or Uber or on a boat, perhaps, I could go ahead and shake this laptop and you see there's almost no screen bounce. It's basically just the laptop moving. So the screen bounce is minimal, which is fantastic for people who are often on the go. Now looking at the screen flex, also minimal, a, a little bit there. I'm not going to lie. There's a little bit there, but this nice aluminum top cover keeps for a good rigid top cover, not too flexible, which is nice. Now going ahead and looking at the interior of the laptop, you can see that the laptop opens to almost completely flat and it has a matte finish. So if you work outside or often bright lights are above you, you won't see those reflections on the screen. It'll be nice and washed out so you can still focus on your screen quite well. Looking at the keyboard deck, nice medium key travel, quiet, very clean snap back. It's nice and responsive. Your full size arrow keys, full size shift keys, probably one of my favorite keyboard decks on a gaming laptop because it has everything that you need. Now, looking at the trackpad, they've kept the trackpad this size for the past probably four or five years. I've complained about it every year and it still stays the same, which means it's working and they're not going to change it, which is fine. But as a creator, I would like a larger trackpad on this laptop. It would just be nice for me personally. Um, but often people, including my video editor, she uses a mouse. And so the trackpad really has not bothered her at all because she's constantly using a mouse to edit. And so that's not a big deal to her. Uh, but it has a nice click. A little bit on the medium loudness. I'm gonna give you an audio sample so you can hear what that sounds like for yourself. Taking a look at the keyboard backlit on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, you can see we have a full RGB backlit keyboard. And you can see it cycles through the RGB in a circular motion. And also we have the bar on the front here cycling through. Now next we go ahead and hit function, bring in the next that has a complete static blue for the keyboard backlighting. And then you can go ahead and tap each of the keys and it kind of does this crazy 
color out from wherever you click on the keyboard, which is pretty cool. And then as it loads, it will load in different colors. So that will change periodically. Now for this, you have the dancing keyboard backlighting and it's dancing here up on the front, kind of ticking back and forth with different colors, which is pretty cool. Next, we have static and static. I cannot figure out why those last two are static and static. If you know, definitely comment below. But overall, I really like the keyboard backlighting. It's clean, it's not washed out anywhere. They've done a really good job of it popping through each of the keycaps. But however, there is a little bit of wash out around the edges of the keys. I wish that those were sealed off a little bit more. That's my one critique of the keyboard backlighting. Now, taking a look at the display on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, again, just like the Pro 5i, we have the anti-glare display. This is a matte display, so it's not gonna be glossy, which I really like. You are gonna be able to reach 240 nits refresh rate on this panel instead of the 165 from the Pro 5i. So keep in mind, that's kind of the step up here with the seven. Now you're also going to have a higher color gamut range. We're gonna have 100% sRGB, 91% Adobe RGB, and 100% DCI P3, all in a delta E of 0 0.97. So more color gamut range and higher color accuracy. And on top of that, we're gonna reach 532 nits of screen brightness. This is all packed into a screen that is a resolution of 2560 by 1600. And there is a webcam on the top bezel. Here's a sample of the webcam in use so you can see what that looks like and sounds like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i from 2024 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Okay, let's talk about battery life. The i9-14900HX did not provide us any more battery life than last year. It gave us like a couple extra minutes, but honestly that could just be slight little tunings in the device that made the difference model between model. So you're getting roughly seven hours of battery life for streaming video playback, just under five hours for Photoshop and just over three hours for video editing. Pretty solid for a video editing device. However, I know my editor personally always has this thing plugged in when she's editing because it's going to be much faster when you're plugged into the charger. You're not gonna be able to access as much wattage from the system when you're on battery power. So she's constantly using it plugged into the charger. Now those battery life results were accomplished by setting the screen brightness to 20% putting on Windows battery saver mode, turning the laptop to quiet mode, and then setting the GPU working mode to hybrid iGPU only. Now this laptop has not changed in regards to the weight and thickness from last year. Same weight, same thickness. However, I did do a test this year. I added the charger block on top of the laptop while on the scale. You can see that it is quite a heavy package at over eight pounds, including the charger. Now there are speakers on the bottom of the chassis. Here's a quick sample so you can hear what those sound like for yourself. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, I'll put links in the description below. And here's a section talking through the specs as well as the price points so you know what you have as far as options are concerned. Now taking a look at the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9 currently available on Lenovo.com is the RTX 4090 version. Remember, I'm reviewing the RTX 4080 version and that's not available on Lenovo's website. However, if you go to bestbuy.com, make sure you're careful at the model you're looking at because you'll see here we have the Legion 7, not the Pro, the Legion 7 available on in an i7 14th gen CPU and an RTX 4060, as well as an RTX 4070 with the i9 and 32 gigs of RAM. Now, these two could be great options for you, but remember, we're looking at the pro version in this review. They have that available at bestbuy.com in 32 gigs of RAM and RTX 4080 and two terabytes of SSD. However, at this exact moment, it is not available for purchase. Now, what's driving me crazy is even on Amazon, they do not have the the i9 14900HX and the RTX 4080 available. All we have is the 4090 with 32 gigs of RAM. So at this moment, the model I'm reviewing is not available yet, but definitely check the links in the description for the model when it comes available, depending on when you're watching this video. Now, do keep an eye on the links in the description below because when they do come available, I will have it listed down there. You can go ahead and click that, check the live pricing. And if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. 
All right, now without further ado, let's get into the performance section. And we're gonna be showing the 2024 and 2023 benchmarks. And keep in mind that the 2024 model I have before me has a more powerful GPU. So if the results are close and you can find a better deal, the 2023 might be your choice. We shall see. Jumping into the simulated benchmarks for Geekbench single core and multi core, as well as Cinebench 2024, you can see it's one of the top performers on the charts. However, let's get out of simulated benchmarks. It's not my favorite place to be. And let's check out the Photoshop benchmark for real world tests. You can see that we have a 7942, a fantastic score. A lot of that's going to be attributed to the 32 gigs of RAM. Photoshop loves RAM and paired up with the i9 processor, it's showing really great performance inside of Photoshop. So you will have no issues with this laptop. You will have tons of ceiling and no limitations to the amount of layers and files and brushes and strokes that you put onto your projects. This is plenty of performance. Now moving on down the line to 3D modeling, that's one area that I'm very impressed with this laptop as well. Now keep in mind, this is a bigger GPU compared to 2023, so we're seeing better performance in all of the benchmarks. Now one area I was especially impressed by for this model was SolidWorks. Normally, even with an RTX 4080, we do not see such a high score as a 152 in SolidWorks. SolidWorks is historically only really worked well with workstation GPUs. And by worked well, I mean is fully optimized for and is approved by the SolidWorks program to be used with SolidWorks. However, with this laptop, we're seeing that GeForce RTX 4080 actually have pretty solid performance in SolidWorks. So this would be a great pick if you're somebody who wants to take advantage of gaming and doing work inside of SolidWorks. Now moving on down the line to video editing, one of the best performing export times that I've seen out of 4K for Premiere Pro. We have a nine minute 4K clip placed in Premiere Pro and exported out at full quality 4K settings, and it's two minutes and four seconds, really good. Now the 6K export is also good at 11 minutes and 38 seconds, really great score. So it's nice to see this laptop year over year continues to maintain that great export time. Sometimes I'll get a laptop and like in 2023, it did really well. Then 2024 comes out and it's like a minute or two slower. It's super odd. It's good to see that Lenovo is continuing to optimize these laptops and put the focus they need to produce a great product. Now for playback, this is where the RTX 40 really makes a difference. You can see that in 6K B-RAW, 6K RED footage, and even in 8K footage, we're getting good playback performance. Only 2,945 drop frames for 8K B-Raw and 3,152 for 8K RED footage. So if you're looking to edit high resolution footage on this laptop or very complex 6K video editing projects, this is absolutely the best pick. And it's why I've given this laptop to my video editor to be her pick. It is so optimized. It is a very easy to use. It's tactile, it's durable. It is a fantastic laptop. So whether you're looking for the 2023 model on sale or you wanna get the latest 2024 to have the most up-to-date Intel processor, the 14th gen processor, this is a great buy. And over the year, it has lasted and been very durable. Now I actually have four years worth of Legion laptops in my studio, and I'm going to be doing a full review of all of them together very soon. So you might wanna subscribe, keep an eye on the channel for that video. It's gonna be really cool. Remember, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.